Let's spend some time learning about reference rotation. You can see that I have a sofa, a small coffee table, and two larger chairs in front of the sofa. Rather than having the chairs face the fireplace, which is over here, I'd prefer to have the chairs make more of a seating area facing the sofa. So I'm going to say rotate. It says what object I will pick on the chair. I read the command prompt. It's still asking to say select objects. I hit enter to say that I'm done. Now, if I were to use a base point, you can see that it wants to go on and just start rotating arbitrarily. But what I would like to do is to have more control over how the rotation occurs. So I will go rotate. It says what's the object. I will select the chair. Enter to say I'm done. It's going to say base point. I'm going to let my base point be the end of this line. And then if you read the command prompt, you can see I have an option for reference. So I will do right button reference. I read the command prompt and it's saying specify the reference angle. I will show the reference angle. Currently the angle goes from the end of this line here to the end of this line here. Now it's saying show me the new angle and as I drag it, it is appropriately rotating. So I will pick here, and then I'm just going to use the move command and move the chair a little bit closer. Let's go over it one more time. So I will say, again, using reference rotate, rotate the chair, enter to say I'm done, selecting. Where's my base point? My base point is the end of here, and I'm going to do a right button, reference. My current reference angle goes from the end of here to the end of here. And now it's saying, show me the angle. And I can show it over here. And then move the chair from here over to here and back off a little bit. So again, we're using reference rotation option where on the reference rotation option, we select the object or objects, we select the base point, we show it the current rotation angle, and then we show it where we want the new rotation angle to be.